the balanced equation for a reaction is given below 2x plus 3y is giving 4l plus m when 8 moles of x react with 15 moles of y then what is the limiting reagent and in the next step we need to find the amount of products formed and then the third question is calculate the amount of excess reactant left at the end of the reaction x is 8 moles here and y is 15 moles in solving these kind of problems you need to follow four steps one is the first thing you need to check is whether the reaction is balanced or not the question itself says that it is a balanced equation already so we don't have to worry about that and then write down the stoichiometric moles and then identify the limiting reagent whichever is less that is the limiting reagent limiting reagent is something that limits the further reaction and then in the fourth step you can compare the limiting reagent to the product or products let us write the stoichiometric moles the way to do is write down 1 by the coefficient whatever is the coefficient you have you write that and then the number of moles of x and then 1 by 3 the number of moles of y and then 1 by 4 the number of moles of l and then 1 by 1 the number of moles of m so this is the way we write the stoichiometric moles so step 2 is done and now we need to find the limiting reagent so limiting reagent is number of moles divided by stoichiometry so here what is given in the case of x the number of moles given is 8 moles and the stoichiometry we have is 2 and that means 4 moles and for y the number of moles is given 15 divided by stoichiometry is 3 and therefore 5 moles and therefore this is less isn't it x is less therefore x is the limiting reagent and y is the excess reagent so we found the limiting reagent limiting reagent is x and then let us go for the next question calculate the amount of products formed so now we identified what is the limiting reagent so compare that to the product and therefore 1 by 2 nx is equal to 1 by 4 nl what is the value given for nx nx is 1 by 2 times 8 is equal to 1 by 4 nl so this means if you cross multiply the value of the number of moles of l is 16 moles likewise we need to compare for the m so 1 by 2 nx is equal to number of moles of m and this means that 1 by 2 times once again 8 here equal to nm and this means the number of moles of m is simply 4 moles so we identified the amount of products now let's calculate the amount of excess reactant left at the end of the reaction so this is our balanced equation 2x plus 3y giving 4l plus m the stoichiometric coefficients here is 2 1 3 and when you have 8 moles and the given amount is 15 moles but when you have 8 moles this is the limiting reagent this is the excess reagent how many moles of y we need this is like 2 is to 3 ratio so let's keep this as y and cross multiply if we do that then 2y is equal to 24 and therefore y is equal to 12 and therefore when you have 8 moles of x you need 12 moles of y which means total given is 15 moles of y isn't it and therefore what is left left equal to total minus whatever we found here total minus 12 and therefore this is 15 minus 12 
3 moles. So 3 moles is in excess. So the answer for the third question is the amount of excess re reactant left at the end of the reaction is 3 moles. That's the correct answer.